Hi everybody, and it's Kid Catholic Season 3, Episode 1. Guys, this is Season 3, and what a huge episode for Kid Catholic. First off, it's Season 3, which is awesome, and we have new changes, as you could tell, new intro, new set, and we have a surprise at the beginning of Saint of the Week that I can't wait to show you guys. Also, it is the one-year anniversary of Kid Catholic. Guys, I have been doing this for one year. It's been amazing. It seems like yesterday I started. I look forward to another year, and a year after that, and a year after that, and trying to evangelize as much as I can. Guys, it's been one full year. And what a great way to celebrate the year anniversary and the opening of Season 3, because I was blessed to go to the beatification of Blessed Stanley Rother, here is a video and a few images from that. It was really cool. Welcoming the wishes of our brother, Paul Stagg Copley, Archbishop of Oklahoma City, and of many brothers in the Episcopate, and a multitude of the faithful, and having consulted the opinion of the congregation for the causes of saints, by virtue of our apostolic authority, Grant that the venerable servant of God, Stanley Francis Rother, diocesan priest and martyr, who was driven by a deeply rooted faith in a profound union with God and by the arduous duty to spread the word of God in missionary lands, faithfully living his priestly and missionary service, until his martyrdom should henceforth be called blessed and his feast may be celebrated in the places and according to the rules established by the law on July 28th, the day of his heavenly birth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Given in Rome, on September 14th, the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, in the year of our Lord, 2017, the fifth year of our pontificate, Francis. part which was really cool this is the band that played outside the arena before you walked in from Guatemala which is which was a big part of Father Stanley Rother's story also this was the part where the procession happened right here there were a ton of people there this was about a couple hours before the mass actually started and there were already tons and tons of people there it was so great to see so many people there for to beatify Father Stanley Rother this is the coin that you received after the Mass if you attended it, which is a really cool coin to show that you attended the beatification of a blessed, which is a big, big deal. Also, this is the image that we saw in the video. It's Father Stanley Rother's image, Blessed Stanley Rother's image, and it looks really, really awesome, and it's very bright and colorful, and I personally think it is really, really cool. This is his relics, which was down there on the floor level, which was for bishops and priests. Those were some of Father Stanley Rother's relics, which is really, really cool. You don't see saint relics very much, so that was a really exciting deal. This is the pamphlet that you got prior to the Mass that had it in Spanish and English, because there were tons of people there, so many different languages. And this was the pamphlet that basically told you the order of the Mass and about Father Stanley Rose. Guys, those were some pictures and video that I took at the Beatification Mass. So that was really cool, and it's really cool that Father Stanley Rother, a kid from Okarchi, Oklahoma, can grow up to be Blessed Stanley Rother, and can grow up to be a Blessed. It's crazy. Also, guys, like I said, I have been doing Kid Catholic for one whole year. It's been an amazing ride, and I don't actually have the very first episode of Kid Catholic. However, I do have the third episode of Kid Catholic. So here's a five-second clip from the third episode of Kid Catholic. <laughs> 
Hi everybody, it's your Kid Catholic here again with another Tuesday episode, Kid Catholic official episode 3. Guys, that is crazy, that was one whole year ago, I've grown up so much, you guys have been along with the ride, Kid Catholic has improved a lot, I thank you guys so much, my old subscribers, my loyal subscribers, who have been with me since day one, and my new subscribers, who had just discovered me, all of you guys, I would not be here without any of you guys, and... I just want to keep doing Kid Catholic as long as possible, and I thank you guys so much. I look forward to another year, and another year after that, and another year after that, and more and more years of Kid Catholic to come. Do you guys know what it's time for now? It's time for the first one of season three. It's time for... The Saint of the Week! Guys, this was the surprise I was waiting to show you guys. A brand new Saint of the Week set designated only to the Saint of the Week. We are going to use this every week for Saint of the Week. Thank you to my brother Griner for basically building the Saint of the Week set for me, for allowing me to use his stuff for the Saint of the Week. We have the Mod Pause of Saints created by Griner. We have Griner's picture that he allowed me to use of Saint Stephen and a picture of Saint John Vianney. So thank you to him for making this happen. Doesn't this look great? We also have a pillow of the Blessed Virgin Mary and a St. Francis stuffed animal right here. Guys, I hope we can use this every week for the Saint of the Week. Now, today's Saint of the Week is St. Clair of Assisi. Now, St. Clair of Assisi was very good friends with St. Francis of Assisi. St. Clair saw Francis as a fatherly figure, and they were actually so close that St. Clair was also referred to as another Francis. Now, St. Clair founded her own order with her little sister, which was called the Order of Four Ladies, later changed after her death to the Order of St. Clair. Now, this was not how she died, but before she died, um, Frederick, King Frederick VI sent soldiers to attack her and the sisters. She greeted them, even though she was very ill, with the Blessed Sacrament in her hands, held it up and said, God, please save the sisters. At that moment, all of the soldiers fled and left and were never seen again. St. Clair lived a very holy life and was canonized not long at all after her death. St. Clair of Assisi is very close with St. Francis of Assisi. And most likely, if you're hearing about St. Francis' story, you'll probably hear about St. Clair. St. Clair's story, you'll probably hear about St. Francis. Now, I would love to talk more about St. Clair of Assisi, but we are running out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been crazy, Kid Catholic, for one whole year. Thank you guys so much for being along the journey with me. And please like the video. Please click the red subscribe button down below if you aren't already. Please comment what you think the next topic and who you think the next saint should be. Also, please like my Facebook page, at Kid Catholic. That was Kid Catholic Season 3, episode 1. And I will see you guys next week.